Judge refuses to drop charges of aiding the enemy against Manning. That's Officer, uh, excuse me, uh, Army Private Bradley Manning, that is. And it says that uh, he, ref he aided the enemy, the military judge ruled Thursday morning, leaving open the possibility of life in prison for the admitted source of a major intelligence leak. Now, for those who are not familiar with one Private Manning, he uh, was at the center of the WikiLeaks scandal. He released some information, in which he admits, but, you know, he says, you know, I, I released this, I released that. And, you know, he did release a lot of things, but things such as uh, the helicopter footage of them shooting a man, taking his children to school. They stop in a van to help some injured people, and they get shot at. And uh, things such as that, you can't have the American public knowing about that. So uh, he released some things, but I don't think he was intentionally aiding um, in abetting the enemy, even though the judge uh, apparently doesn't care too much about that. He just wants to see him nailed to the wall. So just like we say, uh, justice for Snowden, justice for Kokesh, I want some justice for Mr. Bradley Manning, and justice means not spending the rest of his life in prison. Now, speaking of a person who may end up spending the rest of their natural life in prison, we have this Zimmerman trial turned spotlight on another Florida self-defense case. Now. This is one, Marissa Alexander, 32, an African-American woman, was sentenced to a mandatory 20 years in prison for firing a weapon, warning, excuse me, warning shot into the wall of her home in 2010 to end a violent argument with her abusive husband. We'll move on. Under the Stand Your Ground law, people fearing for their lives can use deadly force without having to retreat from confrontation even when it is possible. Alexander, a slightly built woman, said her husband, Rico Gray, was moving toward her threateningly, and then she fired into the kitchen wall. He had previously been convicted on domestic violence charges for attacking her. Keep that in mind. And also, Gray's two children were at home in the living room. Prosecutors alleged that the shot endangered Gray and the children. Well, the shot may endanger Gray himself, the, uh, the alleged uh, perpetrator in this, but the children, you know, it's it's a soft, uh, sticky situa situation where, you know, I definitely care for the uh, well-being of the children, but what about the woman? You know, uh, they didn't say the children were, were hit by this. It didn't say that the children were grazed by this. So, you know, somebody firing a warning shot against somebody who's been convicted for violent crimes, and that gets 20 years, but lo and behold, you know, something like uh, the Trayvon Martin case, regardless of how you feel about that, a man shoots somebody dead, and now uh, he's walking free and easy. And, and for the record, I don't believe that uh, George Zimmerman was guilty of murder. Uh, I believe murder has to be premeditated, preconceived, with uh, malice of forethought. I think he could have been convicted of something like uh, manslaughter, which could easily carry a 20-year sentence as well. But, you know, people want, you know, ah, we got to kill George Zimmerman. You could have easily convicted him of manslaughter, in my personal opinion. So that's it for the news segment. But don't fret, the nightly news is not over yet. We have two power-packed interviews, one with one Miss uh, Dr. Catherine Albrecht. She's going to be talking to us about spy chips, as well as a major victory in the city of San Antonio, so you don't want to miss that. And also, Gigi Arnett is going to be talking to a witness in the Michael Hastings incident, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's hard to call it a out-and-out -out murder. We don't have su such uh, sufficient evidence for that. But I definitely think there was some foul play involved. You know, people's engines just don't fly down the street and so forth. So stay tuned for that. But first, go to the InfoWars shop and pick up State of Mind. It's our new documentary uh, produced by Free Mind Films. We're the exclusive carrier right now. You can get it in DVD and Blu-ray for $5 extra. It's a great video. Uh, you can watch it on PrisonPlanet.tv if you have a subscription. But if you don't have a subscription to PrisonPlanet.tv, go and pick one up right now. You can get a 15-day free trial. There's great stuff on there. You get the Alex Jones radio show. You get the nightly news, which you're watching right now. You get the rants. The movies, uh, the state of mind is on there in the movie section, so stay tuned and watch all that. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.